स्मोकिंग इज इंजूरियस टू हेल्थ स्मोकिंग कॉजेज कैंसर धूम्रपान स्वास्थ्य के लिए हानिकारक है धूम्रपान कर्क रोग का कारण है He goes up to watch from a distance in human the ruinous resistance He goes up to watch from a distance in human the ruinous resistance that a boss go existence that a boss go existence to save people from getting hurt he concentrates all his effort to design a radical car that will take him afar on a bicycle for wasting his nickel in an effort to cure he goes away seeking the pure How to save this human disaster to us is master how to save this human disaster there is a saying in bangla ki pagal na mata hara are you mad or insane I don't know but I do know what my heart wants so I do what my heart tells me to do sincerely and with full on and true and that according to my colleagues makes me stark raving sane we had a good laugh about that <laughs> Shono just because I'm out here please don't take unnecessary liberties with your time okay I hope you are all reading good and whenever you can i hope you're outdoors playing on the maidan pure dam ke sath do 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 something anything just don't to be lazy please no sir we were discussing sir didn't you say your sami ji was a boxer indeed true he was a boxer a wrestler a bodybuilder there are stories of him playing cricket but that does not have any authentic proof He was a singer, played on instruments, and sang very well. And it studied too. How did he manage time? Ah. Well, when I was your age, I asked my father how he managed to pack in so many things in a week and still have time to spend with me. He said, "Your chhoto kaka, the one who sleeps all the time. He and I both have seven days in a week. It's what we do with the seven days that matters." He wastes his time, and I have time after all my work to spend with you. Time management, yes, time management. Swami Ji was a natural management guru. Natural management guru. Indeed, leadership, personality, strength, spirituality, and value—all in one. Boxer, wrestler, singer, spirituality, values, sir. I know I know I know you think it's absurd Tomar professor Gan Lichi no 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 I won't give Gan I will try to explain in a simple language Yes sir Please Please sir please Now You see the Ramakrishna mission Swami ji established 125 years ago is based on modern concepts of management When we speak of Swami ji as the great innovator of management values we must remember that during Swami ji's time the science of management did not exist. So what is management? It is nothing but organized common sense. 
when nations become industrialized and new markets and products are developed, industries and powerful tycoons start making the rules and money, oh money, they make so much of it. A legal management structure becomes essential for them. Now the science of management started only after World War I. It first went into organizing labor, work measurement, work study, production and productivity. Then, slowly, other departments came up. Sir, you are using too many management words. Essentially, this is just jargon. My cousin works in a factory. The owner decides how much is to be produced. He doesn't consider how. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. See, that is not management, that is just greed. I am sure the fool has not studied management. Well, he'll learn the hard way. So, productivity is a typical corporate world word. What is productivity? Sir, it just means your employer wants. Unless you obey them, you lose your job. Are Baba, productivity is the effectiveness of productive effort, especially in industry, as measured in terms of the rate of output per unit of input. But that is mathematics and physics. Work equals load upon effort. Absolutely. If productivity is only what your employer wants, then you will lose your job. Because with that work ethic, your employer's factory will shut down and there won't be any job. Sir, class 12, then five years of engineering and two years of MBA. After that, no industry will give us work. What sort of a world is this, sir? <laughs> Jobs, indeed. Is that what you'll be looking for? You haven't set your sights very high, have you? Great men, truly great men have certain intuitive qualities. They, they can foresee things. And I can assure you that they're not looking at jobs as a career. You don't need a job. You need a vision in which you can see yourself standing on your own two feet. But we need to earn. Of course you need to earn and you will earn. Now, how you choose to earn is far more important than what you earn. Now, let me see if I can connect Victor Tango, Romeo, Kilo, Swamiji. Namaskar, Namaskar Maharaj. Yes, I hope you have a minute. Can you enlighten us on what Swamiji thought of education and getting a job? He saw the need for uh, uh, awakening the, the spirit of entrepreneurship, the spirit of uh, adventure, uh, a Rajasic ambition among uh, in young India. Uh, you see, uh, once he scolded one of his American disciples that uh, when the disciples said, oh, I see India is very peaceful and Swamiji said, no, this is not the peace that I want. This is the peace of the grave. The India is colonized. Uh, people are starving. People are under superstition and illiteracy. This is not real peace. This is tamasic peace. Uh, from this one must be aroused to rajas to activity and dy dynamism. After that will come sattva, serenity, inwardness and true spirituality. So as a, uh, so what he saw in the West was the spirit of entrepreneurship and the spirit that I will make my own destiny. And he saw a great scope uh, for India, for the products of India, for the genius of India. And one of the ways to awaken this Rajas was to put India in touch with the rest of the world. So that's why he wanted young Indians to come out of India, to travel the world, to engage in business, to come out here and study and learn and, uh, um, and trade. So that's what he said, that there, there are these wonderful products that India has got and which can find a ready market in the West. This will lead to um, development of entrepreneurship among Indians and the development of the economy and a widening of um, our horizons. To those who have got degrees and they are searching jobs, to them he is telling, fire upon you, throw your degrees in Ganges. Don't you feel ashamed going down to Sahib, uh, to Britishers and say, Sahib, please give me a uh, job, give me job. So he was not in favor of jobs. So what he says, he suggests, he writes 
to his people, come here to America, bring some gamcha from Hooghly, sari from Banaras, and some masalas. I will help you in selling it here. So it is easy to say, but who will buy a gamcha, a towel? Have you heard of B.B. Russell? No? Bangladesh is a little bit of a fashion designer B.B. Russell who is a little bit of a fashion designer. তার ডিজাইনে কচুরি পানা নারকেল ছোবড়া যেমন এসেছে তেমনি তারই হাত ধরে পরিচিতি পেয়েছে গামছা আমি যখন স্টুডেন্ট লাইফে যখন মডেলিং সবসময় একটা গামছা একটা স্কার্ফের মত থাকতো আমি দেখতাম মিডিয়া বা ডিজাইনাররা বা পপ স্টার এরা সব পছন্দ করত দীর্ঘদেহী বিবি নিজে ডিজাইন করা পোশাক পরে র‍্যাম্পে হাঁটতেন সচ্ছন্দে यस স্যার ফ্যাশন গুরু फ्रॉम বাংলাদেশ এন্ড হোয়াট ডাজ শি ইউজ দ্য গামছা সি you have to overcome shyness and shame the moment you think of gamza you curl up your noses <laughs> there's a hint right there you can start a business an export business or anything that you find that excites you hmm bhapte hobe bhapte to hobe baba of course management without thinking does not succeed you know from america swami ji wrote that he has fallen in love all began wondering who or what it can be connect victor tango november yankee romeo prana maharaj you've been talking to students my students want to know about what matters most in management will you please tell them the story of swami ji falling in love please well he was staying um, at the house of a devotee at that time and one day he came home in in a great good humor and he said uh, today i have fallen in love and the lady of the house in half amusement and curiosity she asked who is the lucky woman swami ji and swami ji laughed and said no it is not a woman it is organization madam um so that was it he fell in love with the idea of organization swami vivekananda saw that that the great treasure which he had got from sri ramakrishna uh, the great treasure that he had got from vedanta the spiritual heritage of india uh, he wanted to transmit it down um, to throughout the world to india and down the generations across the centuries and he realized the vehicle he needed was an organization thank you maharaj thank you so much see you heard organization it is management and swami ji's guru instinctively knew the management that could control the mind psychology mm -hmm. must be hypnotism nothing of the sort it has to be trust pure love and complete understanding now let me see if i can take you to another rehearsal <sighs> connect lima lima victor tango november romeo जीवन मुख दर्शन कर तेज तुम लोर मध्य अठारो गाल 
लॉरेन के कोनो पाप स्पोर्ट्स कुत्ते पारे नहीं और लॉरेन कोनो नए कुत्ते पारे नहीं अब वो किसे भालो बाचे He had always remained impatient with the sentimental nonsense of bhakti, as he put it, seeing it often as a mark of weakness. That was the work to which Ramakrishna had patiently and gently moulded him. Thakur had his own strategy. Blowing hot and cold, that was Thakur's strategy. At one point of time, so overwhelmed was Narendranath that he only wanted eternal peace and samadhi. Now his guru had different plans for him. He even rebuked Norin. Now let me see if I can take you to that rehearsal where that happened. Uh, roll Victor Tango November Tango Romeo. Connect. Tu e ki bolis Lorenzo? Ami ki bolbo? Ami shanti tante kichu chai ne? Nirbikalpo samadhi chai. Samadhi te Brahma lin hoye thakte chai. Chi 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 chi. Eto boro adhar tu e bhebe chilum. मानुषेजो शुद्ध नाम कर ले तुम रुचि जीवे दया कीट तु दया कर बार की रे एत स्पर्धा तोर किसे तुर आत्मभरिता स्वयं शिव रूपी परम ब्रह्म जीव जगत जीव मान सीव बोल जीवे सेवा जीवे सेवा बोल जीवे सेवा शिव ज्ञाने जीव सेवा शिव ज्ञाने जीव सेवा शिव ज्ञाने जीव सेवा ईश्वर साधनार महत्तम पद Yes sir in school we were asked to write an essay on he who serves humanity actually serves god Yes absolutely swami ji is saying but sir all this is good but in the real world what works is power and money True short lived power though money will come if you are on the right path Now these days you consider AQ over IQ Now, unless you have IQ, you cannot have AQ. And so many years ago, Swami Ji said, "Adaptability is a mystery of life. Your AQ, adaptability quotient, must be high." You know, I think I will have to share another story with you. Now, you all know about the Tata Iron and Steel factory and the Indian Institute of Science. Yes, sir. Of course. Right now, Swami Ji met Jamshed Ji Tata. and on hearing that jamshed ji was going on a mission to bring the steel industry to the country swami ji cautioned him watch this roll victor tango juliet tango sierra on board a ship on his way to america swami ji told mr tata i would like to give you a small caution whatever amount you spend to get the process of making steel 
Simultaneously, you should learn the metallurgical science of making steel. I would prefer you to start an institute, a laboratory, to do advanced research on the subject. Jamshedji Tata could not get the technology for manufacturing steel from the UK. However, he came back with the know-how of manufacturing steel from USA and established a steel factory at Jamshedpur. Simultaneously, he donated one-sixth of his property for establishing an institute of material research at Bangalore, the Indian Institute of Science a dream implanted by Swamiji. A monk with iron and steel. It would be wrong to call him just a monk, you know. He was a visionary, a patriot and a reformer. His vision of education was, was different. What was it, sir? Mm, Swamiji's thoughts on education challenged the traditional and conventional. Wait, watch this. Rule Victor Tango Bravo Echo Papa. The Bengali of October 1898 wrote, quote, It is proposed to found an institution which shall be or correspond to the teaching university for India, its primary aim being to teach and not to examine. The Bengali of January 14, 1899 wrote, Lord Curzon, while fully sympathizing with Mr. Tata's scheme, appears to have certain serious misgivings. His Lordship is not sure whether there will be sufficient supply of students. Surely, it will not do to secure the services of highly paid professors to lecture a beggarly array of empty benches. You know, do you know who Jamshedji considered to head the Indian Institute of Science? You wouldn't know. Roll Victor, Tango, India, India, Sierra. On November 23, 1898, Mr. Jamshedji Tata wrote a letter to Swamiji recalling the whole gamut of discussion he had with the latter on this subject about five years ago. He wrote, Dear Swami Vivekananda, I trust you remember me as a fellow traveler on your voyage from Japan to Chicago. I very much recall at this moment your views on the growth of the ascetic spirit in India and the duty not of destroying but of diverting it into useful channels. I recall these ideas in connection with my scheme of Research Institute of Science for India, of which you have doubtless heard or read. It seems to me that no better use can be made of the ascetic spirit than the establishment of monasteries or residential halls for men dominated by this spirit, where they should live with ordinary decency and devote their lives to the cultivation of sciences natural and humanistic. I am of the opinion that if such a crusade in favor of an asceticism of this kind were undertaken by a competent leader, it would greatly help asceticism, science and the good name of our common country. And I know not who would make a more fitting general of such a campaign than Vivekananda. Do you think you would care to apply yourself to this mission of galvanizing into life our ancient traditions in this respect? Perhaps you had better begin with a fiery pamphlet rousing our people in this matter. I should cheerfully defray all the expenses of the publication. With kind regards, I am, dear Swami, yours faithfully, Jamshedji and Tata. 
I didn't know about this, sir. Sir, what assurance do I have that after I pass out, I'll get a job? There are so many highly qualified people without jobs, sir. Again, you are asking the same question. Why do you need a job? Why can't you be self-employed? Sir, it needs huge capital investment. Where is the money? <laughs> we get frustrated, sir. Every day, three students commit suicide. You need to read and introspect. You know what Swamiji said? And I quote, Within you lies indomitable power. With thinking only I am nothing, I am nothing, you have become powerless. Why you alone? The whole race has become so. Go around the world once and you will find how vigorously the life current of other nations is flowing. And what are we doing? What are you doing? Even after learning so much, you go about the doors of others crying, Give me employment! Trampled under others' feet, doing slavery for others? Are you men anymore? You're not worth a pin's head in this fertile country with abundant water supply, where nature produces wealth and harvest a thousand times more than in others. You have no food for your stomach, no clothes to cover your body. In this country of abundance, the produce of which has been the cause of the spread of civilization in other countries, you are reduced to such straits. Your condition is even worse than that of a dog, and you glory in your Vedas and Vedanta. A, a nation that cannot provide for its simple, Food and clothing, which always depends on others for its subsistence, what is there for it to want about? Throw your religious observations overboard for the present and first be prepared for the struggle for existence. People of foreign countries are turning out such golden results from the raw materials produced in your country. And you, like asses of burden, are only carrying their load. The people of foreign countries import Indian raw goods, manufacture various commodities by bringing their intelligence to bear upon them and become great. Whereas you have locked up your intelligence, thrown away your inherited wealth to others and roam about crying piteously for food. All that's fine, sir, but what can we do? But sir, what did Swamiji get? Unless we get a reward, is it worth it? What did he get? This getting for I. This I is the root cause of problems. Wait, wait, wait. Listen to this. Roll Victor Tango Papa Kilo. What impressed me are two line statements of Swami Vekananda. And very rarely spoken those words. So I want to repeat the youth what he said. He is a spiritual leader of great might and representing the whole India, they are spiritual leader. What he says, I want to read to you what he says. He said, my name, Swami Vekananda, Swami Vekananda, he says, my name should not be made prominent. It is my ideas that I want to be realized. So very rarely, a human being, a leader, a people's leader, a spiritual leader will say, not my name, but my ideas that I want to be realized. So beautiful. So today what we need, the great ideas. How the great ideas uh, really will uh, make us, after all, ideas comes from, where from it comes. First we have to have a vision, a goal. And then a dream. If you have a dream, then thoughts will come, ideas will come. If thoughts come, then what comes next? What comes next? Action. Action will come next. Is it not? So all of you is going to uh, repeat with me. Dream. 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 dream transforms, transforms. Into. Thoughts. 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 Thoughts result into action. Look around you. Have the power to see and think. You need to concentrate, arrive at an idea, 
The way you accept defeat without trying is not right. It's very wrong. Very, very wrong. You want to hear what Swamiji said? Here we go. Roll, Victor, Tango, Sierra, Victor, 84769. Yes. The means are in your hands. You blindfold your eyes and say, I am blind and can see nothing. Tear off the folds from your eyes and you will see the whole world lighted by the rays of the midday sun. If you cannot procure money, go to foreign countries, working your passage as a Laskar. Let me, let me find something for you. Here. Roll Victor Tango Sierra Victor Papa 65982. Swamiji said, All combined efforts in India sink under the weight of one iniquity. We have not yet developed strict business principles. Business is business in the highest sense and no friendship. Or as the Hindu proverb says, I shame should be there. One should keep the clearest account of everything in one's charge and never, never apply the funds intended for one thing to any other use whatsoever, even if one starves the next moment. This is business integrity. Next, energy unfailing. Whatever you do, let that be your worship for that time. Swamiji talking business ethics. So the word ethics has vanished, even from education. No, it has not vanished. You're much too cynical for one so young. We have closed our eyes. We only learn what the British wanted us to learn. Are in Belgaon, there's a company that has followed Swamiji's ideals and have thrived on business. I know you will not believe it, but, well, watch this. Red. Roll Bravo, Papa, 65479, Victor Tango. I always feel that if somebody can take an idea and try to live up to that idea, one life is not enough. So I picked up some of his ideas and started implementing them in my business. Swami has also said that uh, you must have the power to get angry or the strength to get angry, but it's not necessary that you should get angry. Similarly, there's nothing wrong in making money, lot of money, as long as you make it honestly. Right? Somebody asked me, what are you going to do with all this money you make? Because you don't seem to be using it or spending it for your personal life because you live so simple life. Huh? They said, I, I'm a businessman, I'm an industrialist and my job is to create wealth. This is how much wealth, it depends upon my capacity. So I must do, it is my duty and it's my karma, that dharma, rather dharma, to create wealth for the nation. Sir, he said he makes a lot of money. If that is true, then why do our better students go abroad? Not just for money, for exchange of education too. Watch this. Roll Victor Tango Papa Kilo 764678. Recently I had even you know, some time back, a decade back, a Canadian, an Indian who settled in Canada. He was a visiting scientist with me and then after some time he opted for India, working in India. Now a lot of people started coming from India uh, back. There is another wave, a wave going from India and another wave is going to start. Uh, people coming from other countries, including Indians, they will come back. See, now you know. You will go, they will come. But we in India shall stride with our head held high, just like Swamiji. Yes, yes sir. sir.